Good evening, everyone. I know it's been a long time since I've been out here, but today I have something that was kind of heavy on my heart that I feel that the Lord wants me to get out. Um, I just want to take a moment uh, to pray before I speak. Father, I thank you, God. For your peace and your joy i thank you for your wisdom and knowledge revealing those things that are hidden those things that are covered up and father the things that you want said and not my not what i want said but god that my flesh will decrease but you will increase in me father i just thank you for your anointing that destroys the yokes your anointing father god that breaks yokes of bondage father i thank you god I just thank you for your peace and your love and your understanding. I just thank you, Lord Jesus, that maybe this word will be an uh, encouragement to someone and a, maybe even a direction. But God, I just thank you and I give you praise and honor. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Um, the word I got was the atmosphere. So one day I was driving down the street and as I was driving, it, it was almost like I didn't hear anything. I, I didn't hear like the same things that were said last year. I didn't hear, um, oh, we got to pray for our leaders. I, I didn't hear, we got to pray for our president. It was just such a silence as I as I just sat there and I just listened. I said, it's too quiet. I didn't hear anything about, we got to pray. So then what I heard was back to normal. Everything is back to normal. And I'm like, wow, back to normal. In my thinking, everything is not back to normal. In my thinking, it's like I need to pray more for the things that God wants to do in the earth, that the direction he is trying to take his people, the direction that His he's trying to get his will out to the earth, but he needs someone to hear and to obey what he is speaking on. So I heard back to normal, every day, back to normal routine. I'm at peace now. I, I'm, 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 I'm settled right now. So when I heard that, I, be, I really began to weep. And, and it was just something that I just felt. It's like I just began to weep. And it's like, God, I'm saying, why am I weeping like this? And then what God brought to me is that, and he said, God said, people are at peace now, not because of me, but because of man. Because of man, because maybe um, who you decided to vote for, got into office, or maybe he didn't get into office is just, it was just a silence that I just began to hear a man that promised a lot of promises to be filled, a man that may have spoken uh, what things he wanted to do. And what I thought about is that the promises are geared towards his agenda. We don't always know the heart of man. We may not even agree with what, you know, what God is saying about a person, but only God knows the heart. And that's what I heard his agenda. So if God made man, how can 
he give you something that he don't possess on his own. Man cannot possess the peace of God if he don't have God. So God is the creator and the sustainer of man. So the question I ask myself, where does my peace lie? Regardless what is going on in this earth, regardless who is in office, who's not in office, where does my peace lie? It cannot lie in man because man will fail you. And if man has to depend on God, you cannot depend on man. So we must trust God in everything he's asking us to do and be obedient to it because God knows the be the ending before he started all the beginning before the end the ending before the beginning he knows it all he knows what his intentions is what he is trying to get out here in the earth he's no he knows the intentions of man's heart we may not know all of that but if we hear what God is saying to us if we hear what he is speaking for us to do his will will be done. So we can't depend on when they say peace and safety, like they in, in 1 Thessalonians 5, 3. It cannot be peace and safety because when it is that, that's when sudden destruction comes. And that's when people are caught off guard. That's when people get disturbed and thrown off thrown off the course because of the destruction the destruction that's coming the things that are coming up in the earth we have to hold on to God we have to go hold on to his peace because the things we may see out here may cause us to falter may cause us to fail may cause us to fall and to really be off guard because it's suddenly as like when a woman with a child, you're carrying the child, but do you know the moment that he's coming or she is coming? So in 2 Thessalonians 3, 16, it says, now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means. The Lord be with you all. It's the Lord that gives us peace. It is not man. It is not that we should be settled and, and, and on easy street because of whatever the reason may be. It is not like that in the atmosphere. If you, if you really listen to what God is saying. There's a lot of things going on in the atmosphere. There's a lot of things that's coming up that will catch us off guard if we don't have that ear to hear, if we don't ask God to uh, direct our path. Because there's a lot of evil things out here that's going, a lot of doors have been opened. A lot of doors that people may not even understand has been opened that is setting the course there is a shift in the atmosphere, but we have to have that ear to hear what God is saying. So whatever God is saying to us, whether it's a word, whether it's a song, whatever he's saying, if it's a scripture, begin to decree and declare it out into the atmosphere. Begin to speak the will of God into the atmosphere. God lays on our heart his desires he lays on our hearts the things to say. So you get a, you get a thought, you get a, a, a unction from the Holy Spirit to say this, to do this, to go here, whatever it is, do it. Because God is getting his will done in earth as it is in heaven. But he's waiting on us to have that listening ear. He's, he's waiting on us to trust him in all things, whether we think it's right or wrong, we must agree with God because God knows everything. It may not feel good to us. We may like God's ways are not our ways. We think in one way because of this, because of what we see, because of what we hear, but it's always the intent of the heart 
that we don't know about. It's always the things that are not said that we don't hear. We say, oh, he's, they're a good person. They're a bad person. They're this person. But God knows the heart of that person. He knows the intent and he knows the agenda. So that's why we have to be in tune with God. And the foundation that we must stand on is God and his word. His word gives us peace. So when there's sudden destruction, the Holy Spirit will bring back God's word to you and, and tell you, I'm with you. I'm with you always. I am your peace. You are going to get through. You're going to make it. So we have to rely on God, not on man. God made man. He created man. He created the whole earth. So how can we be at peace when they don't have peace? Peace relies on in God. Our peace is in God. So I want to encourage you to really hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying, whatever he is saying, uh, speaking to you in your prayer, your prayer time, your dreams. If you have different dreams that are, are, are coming up and you begin to really pray about it, God is showing us some things in our dreams and we need to inquire of the Lord. What are you saying? What is the direction and the purpose of this? How should I pray? Because God is trying to get his will out on earth. Because it's, it's almost like a sadness. Like if you, if you had, uh, I guess, a child that you did so much for, you know, growing up, you, was, you, you, know, you kept them, you protected them, you gave them whatever. And then all of a sudden, they get a certain age and they find uh, another friend. Another friend, they get close to them that it ain't even call them mother. This is my second mom. This is this is my second mom. And so what if that that second mom took the place of the first mom? So God, you know, He's looking over the, the earth and and how would you feel if people are at peace? You you prayed for me to do things and I did them and or you thought I did them, and and now you it's done. Now you have no need for me anymore. So it was such a sadness that came over me because things were too quiet. And this is really the time that we need to pray and ask for God's uh, guidance and what he wants us to do. It's the peace of God that passes all understanding will keep our hearts and mind stayed on thee, stayed on God. Our peace is in God. So I just want to encourage you with that, um, to really just seek God out and to have that listening ear and always say, speak when spoken to. When I say speak when spoken to, it's like whenever God speaks to you, you speak it out. If he has not said nothing to you, don't, don't say anything. Because sometimes we can get in the way of things that, that God is trying to do. We may add or may, we may subtract. Just do whatever God is telling you to do. No more, no less. If you don't hear anything, you don't say anything. Be still and know that I am God. God is going to get us through all of this. There's a lot of things that are happening in the spirit. Like I said, there's a lot of doors that have been open in the earth. And it's like, wow, God, it's just so many things out here. You know, you will get discouraged by some of the things you hear and some of the things you see, but know in your heart that God is with you. He is a protector. He is a provider. Listen to his instructions because really, if you don't have God, there is no peace. 
So I hope that I said some encouraging word to you today um, because we need God. He is our sustainer. Man cannot sustain you. He cannot protect you. He cannot do any of that. It's only God, our Father, that will keep us. Jesus, the blood of Jesus covers us. He died for us. We have power. We have authority. We use it. We decree it. We declare it out into the atmosphere that it may manifest. So hear the word of the Lord. Whatever God is saying to you, just have that listening ear and that be ready. Be ready to speak and say whatever God is saying. Be ever be ready to do, to go whatever path, whatever, you know, if you're, you're, sometimes we get so in a routine that we go this way home all the time, or we go this way to work. Sometimes you got to hear what God may tell you to go, to go a, another way because he's trying to keep us from harm and danger. So we have to be ready to go whichever way God wants us to go. Don't be in that routine of every day, uh, the everyday path of what we what we normally do, because sometimes he'll take us off that path because there is a road of destruction that we know not of all the time. So I just wanted to encourage you and um, I love you and God bless you and I'll see you later.